Hello friends, in this programming series, I will be creating a full stack project which I have named it as bookstore in which a user can see all the books, add a new book and update the details of any of the existing books and also he can delete a book. Let's see the demo of the application. So this is how our final website is going to look. So as you can see, the list of all books the book name is like python the price of this book is ten dollars and you, you can update user can update the book so for example from 10 to let's say the price is now 20.5 so if they uh, click update then after that the price will be updated to 20.5 and a user can also delete a book so if you if a user uh, delete this book and let's say there is a pop-up like to confirm whether he wants to delete or not so if it is no, then no, no action will be taken. However, if there is yes, then that book will be deleted. So as you can see, that book has been deleted. And user can also add a new book. And once the user add all the details of the book and press submit, it will be appeared in the index page of this website. So all the details of the books are stored in a database, which I have used DynamoDB in that case. So you can see all the details are present. So book ID, book image, URL, book price and book title. Let's say the text stack that I'm going to use. So for the front end, I will be using HTML, CSS and for CSS framework, I will be using Bootstrap, JavaScript, React.js and also Next.js. So the entire front end application will be based on Next.js framework. And for the back end, I will be using Java, Spring framework, Lombok and AWS Java SDK and for the database i will be using dynamodb so without any further ado let's get started on a high level the flow of our full stack application will be like this so the user will access the bookstore through a chrome and through a web browser like chrome and the request will go to the a book service that will be a java web service okay and it it will expose some apis to perform the basic crud operations and all those crud operations are backed by dynamodb I will be using DynamoDB Mapper as a high-level language to interact with DynamoDB rather than going the low-level details. 